No, go on. Go no, on. okay. You touch on um the, the rules um about, about getting the for you to break down the rules of um African Warriors Fighting Championship. How because I you have two categories, the pure DMB and the, also the African Warriors Wrestling, the Kukua. So um how is the rules? We talk we talk about the rounds now having it, having the fights in three rounds. Is it three minutes per round? Three minutes a round. Three minutes per round. Yeah. So what about other? rules like in the cultural dembe we know in um northern parts of nigeria you see they wrap their hands so they do some ritual baths they do some um they use some um they call it liar the charm they use some char- charm for power for and some they use it to daze the opponent so once they land the punch the opponent is dazed he can't come back so there's different so how is the rules are you guys still using the cultural um advantage yeah. are they using performance enhancing and all that so is it regulated yeah so <laughs> Exactly about you know this point about keeping to the culture of Dambi. Mm. There's no Dambi without music, right? The, the drums, the music. The drums, yeah. Yes. Uh, and equally, there's no Dambi without all of those additional parts. Mm. Be it the armbands, be it yes, yes, is it's the ankle bands, all of those things. Mm. So it's not our place, and we would never take those key things out mm. because I directly what that means to the performance of a fighter yeah. like when you hear a musician calling the name of your grandfather from house could you before before you did mm. what that does for a fighter what that does for their psyche mm. i'm like this is what i want to see this is what people want to see mm-hmm. equally when you have one charm that like one malam from one village into put a brought all the way down for you you fight and you approach your fight in a whole different way. So yeah. you would never take the things out. Okay. Instead, it's more of things that's within our power. So again, things like the round times, things like clarifying what it means um, in terms of a knockdown. So three rounds, um, you're trying to win two out of three rounds or get some knockouts. Mm. So if you win one round, you get three points from a knockdown, for example. So um, you, yeah, sorry, so you're given three points from a knockdown, knockdown. you're given one point for knocking your opponent out of the arena. Okay. Um, a knockdown ends the round immediately, you go on to round two. Round two. Okay. So um, just like putting in like a simple rule set, which just allows fighters more room to show themselves and makes it, I think, more enjoyable because you have that added element of yeah. okay, what's going to happen. Mm. But things like charms, things like the music, those are always here to stay. Mm. Um, I think that's something that some people have asked us and it's like this is something we can never be apologetic about because this is the sport mm. and every sport has its own different approach to that Muay Thai mm. has um, I forget the name for it but a similar thing where fighters mm. come out they do the dance they engage with the music yeah, they ritual and all the yeah so I think we can we as Africans should never be ashamed of that think oh this is something that needs to be taken out of our sport mm. this is what makes the sport different mm. and we always keep that there so we never take that out but instead things like making sure that we're checking the wraps to ensure it's just rope you've seen all sorts of sneaky things happening there for example mm. just making sure that fighter safety and just the actual flow of the fights is yes. done within set parameters is more what we're interested in yeah, from what I get now, you say not changing the traditional rules and all that. Like, but you mentioned something about the rap now, so you ensure there's no t- nothing in the hands, no liar, no charm, and nothing. Because why I'm, why I'm yeah. asking these questions, I don't know. It may not be easy to change those things now. I like the way you're bringing new rules, modifying the rules to make it more entertaining and all that. A lot of people in the next few years time, I don't know. You, I would like to know that from you along the line. But people, are, people will be showing interest into the sports more and more. Combat sport is becoming a big deal in Africa in Nigeria. Young, young people, people from like a bit world, from the wealthy family or average living kids may want to take part into the sport. But one key element would be the issue of the charm. I don't want you to engage in something that is going to be harmful, maybe long time injury, long time. Um, so, but I feel if that is not part of it, people will be more open to take part. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. This is not soccer, it's not football. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not for everyone. Not for everybody, is, basically, yeah. Mm. Primal fighting sport. Mm. 
Yeah. Let's make the terms mm. and let's be very honest about that. Perfect. And things like charms are involved in the sport. Mm. Um, and it's, I would take, I, on that, I would take my steer from the fighters. If the fighters came to us and said, look, we want to move beyond that. We don't want these aspects to be involved. That's when we can have a conversation. Mm. Mr. Maxwell, yeah. You were saying something about if the fighters um, are showing interest in moving forward with the aspect. Yeah, if, if the fighters came to us and said that we don't want charms to be a part of Dambi anymore, that's when I'd be open to that. Okay. But it's not the place I want to take dictating to guys who have been Takes. fighting for decades, for centuries, how they should change the sport on that level. Mm. And I don't think it's necessary. Okay. And also, I know that these are the things that make our sport exciting. Mm. People love this stuff. And it's like, it's not, Broken Warriors is just a sport that's uh, a brand that's consumed in Nigeria. We have fans around the world. And people come to us because they enjoy this rawness, they enjoy this Africanness. So mm. let's revel in it. I don't think it's something we need to change. I think we need to focus on fighter safety. We need to focus on ensuring that fighters are given the opportunity to show the best of themselves um, and fights are the most entertaining they can be. And okay. I, that, that's the thing that I'm focused on. Come on, Africans! Ah, 